Welcome back. Problem 6-100. So statement is if D is 450 mm, determine the absolute maximum bending stress in overhanging beam. So you can see this is an overhanging beam where there is a distributed load of 8 kN per meter over length of 4 meter and at end we have a point load of 12 kN. The cross section of the beam is shown over here clear and this the value of this D is 450 mm. So you have to find the bending stress in the maximum bending stress in the beam so we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so what we will do is that we will find the maximum bending moment so for that we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so first step is that if you remove the support at point a so there will be a reaction force let this is r a and if you remove the roller support at point b so you will be having a reaction force which is r b so first we will find this reaction force by using equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so first moment about point um, a is due to this load which is 12 kN into perpendicular distance is 6 meter and this is producing clockwise so that's why it will be negative so I will write it uh, 12 into 6 uh, 12 into perpendicular distance 6 and that is minus the second moment that is produced by this force which is RB into perpendicular distance is 4 meter and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so I will write plus 4 R B the third moment that is produced due to this uniformly distributed load when converted into point load so it will be 8 into 4 and that will be acting at a mid 2 meter and that is producing clockwise so it will be also negative so I will first uh, convert this uniformly distributed load into point load so it is 8 into 4 and the perpendicular distance is 2 meter and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus 8 into 4 and perpendicular distance is 2 their sum must be equal to 0 so from here we will get minus 32 uh, sorry 72 not 32 12 6 are 72 okay minus 72 plus 4 rb minus 64 is equal to 0 so from here when you calculate it you will get rb will be equal to 34 kilo newton now you have this rb you can find ra by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force support taken as positive so four forces one is ra the second is rb minus 12 minus 8 32 is equal to zero so i will write ra minus 32 which is this is downward plus rb rb is 34 clear and minus 12 is equal to zero so again here you will get r a will be equal to 10 kilo newton now you have both r a and r b you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so what we will do is that we will take a vertical line from the end of this beam similarly at from this end you will draw a vertical line and then there is a horizontal line okay let each division here is of uh, 5 so this is 5 this is plus 10 here we will take the shear force that will be in kilo newton okay and here that is minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 minus 20 and so on so at first point you can see we have r a which is uh, 10 kN so our first point will be this one here now you can see we have from A to B B is this point or length of 4 meter you can see that there is a uniformly distributed load so 8 4s are 32 so at point B we have 10 minus 32 will be minus 22 so minus 22 will be somewhere here 
since this is a straight line load is a constant zero degree line so the shear force will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing because this load is downward so i will write i will join them by using a straight line okay okay so you can consider this point this is minus 22 kilonewton now at point b we have rb which is plus 10 so minus 22 plus 10 will bring it to the um, 12 so 12 is this this point so we will the shear force will change from minus 10 to 12 12 that this is 12 kilo newton and then there is no load in between point b and 12 so it will be a straight line constant line and at the end there is minus 12 which will bring it to zero now this distance will be uh, when you draw it as per scale this will be 1.25 meter but i will also show you how you will cal calculate this distance so let if you divide this beam at any portion and draw the free body diagram so this is the free body diagram where we have ra which is 10 kilo newton and there is a uniformly distributed load of 8 let this distance where we cut the beam is x so when you cut it there will be a shear force and there will be a moment and if you want to convert this uniformly distributed load into point load so it will be 8 into x and that will be acting at a distance of x by 2 so we will apply using condition that sum of all force along y direction must be equal to zero and force support taken as positive so we have 10 kilo newton force one is this one um, minus 8x which is downward minus v is equal to zero so it means that shear force v is equal to 10 minus 8x now we want to find x for which shear force is equal to zero so here you can see the shear force is zero so when you put x uh, v is equal to zero in this equation so zero is equal to 10 minus 8x so 8x will be equal to 10 by 10 and x is equal to 10 by 8 which will give you 1.25 meter so you can see that at x is equal to 1.25 meter you have shear force is equal to zero now we will move toward the bending moment diagram and we will draw that so for bending moment diagram again you have to um, draw horizontal line this x represent horizontal line and let each division is of 10 kilo newton into meter here you are going to draw moment in kilo newton into meter so this will be minus 10 this will be minus 20 and this will be minus 30 so first area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area i will write is equal to the value of this area will be equal to 1 over 2 into 10 multiply by this distance which is 1.25 and that will give you 6.25 and since this is a uh, first degree line and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be second degree curve and it will be clockwise so 6.25 we have to plot 6.25 so 6.25 will be somewhere let's say this is the 6.25 6.25 and this will be a second degree curve okay now the second area is this one and this area is equal to 1 over 2 into this minus 22 into this remaining distance which is 4 minus 1.25 4 minus 1.25 and that will give you minus 30.25 so 6.25 minus 30.25 will give you minus 24 at this point this point minus 24 so let minus 24 lie somewhat here and your bending moment will be like curve okay again you can see we have third area is this one and this area is equal to 12 into this distance 2 which is equal to 24 so this is minus 24 plus 24 will be will bring it to 0 and this will be 
a straight line because you can see that this area is positive and this uh, shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher so by this we have uh, drawn the shear force and bending moment diagram now we can move to get maximum absolute value of bending moment so from here you can see the maximum absolute value of bending moment is minus 24 so minus 24 and that will give you 24 kilo newton into meter this is the maximum absolute value of bending moment since we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i we have this value now we will calculate c and i so c you can see that from this diagram c will be equal to if you divide d which is 450 so c the neutral axis will be at the mid and this distance c will be equal to 450 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 225 meter millimeter and in meter that will be equal to 0 0.225 meter so i will write the c value here 0 0.225 meter clear uh, i should write c is equal to d divided by 2 d is 450 divided by 2 which is 225 millimeter and in meter c is like this now we will find i for this beam so you can see if i draw it below so if i draw it like this and uh, there is a empty portion inside as well so consider this is 450 450 millimeter this breadth is 125 plus 25 to 150 175 so 175 millimeter now the empty portion consists of 125 and this height is again this height is uh, 0 0.3 why because you can see that this is 450 so 450 minus 75 minus 75 will be equal to 300 so i will write it 125 and this is 300 millimeter now we know that i is equal to 1 over 12 b h cube so here you will take 1 over 12 b for this is 175 which in meter is equal to 0 0.175 and height is 450 which is 0 0.450 0 whole cube minus 1 over 12 this portion minus 1 over 12 into 0 0.125 into 0. 0 0.3 whole cube and its neutral axis will be this one and this is c which is equal to 0. Uh, 225 millimeter because all the other values are in millimeter so when you calculate this i this i will comes out to be 104 1.047 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter power 4 now you have all the values you can see that uh, you have maximum you have c you have i you can just put it in this so maximum stress is equal to maximum bending moment which is 24 uh, kilo newton into meter so 24 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by c which is 0 0.225 divided by i and that i is 1.0477 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it you will get maximum bending stress comes out to be 5.15 mega pascal at the end so this is the answer of our this question and that was all about problem 6-100 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it 
those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching